Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to create a pattern or multiple welds when only programming one on the Cooper app using Lincoln Electric's collaborative robots. Now, it's super simple to do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say start here, because this is where we wanna start the robot. And then from here, we're just gonna click add here, and there's an option towards the bottom to add pattern start. So we're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna move my torch to the start location, and I'm gonna press the green button, and boom, I have, I have this, I have said, this is my pattern start location. From here, it's gonna ask, what do we wanna do? A linear weld, a circular weld, or whatever. We're gonna go a linear weld for this. We're then gonna move our torch to that first weld location. Press the green button. Boom move to the next location, or the end of the weld in this case. And we're gonna click and hold the green button. And then we're going to just move our torch out of the way. So we've created the linear weld, the start and the stop. We have a pattern. We're now going to add and create a finish pattern. We can move, or we said this is the stop of my, my pattern. I'm gonna press the green button. Now it's going to ask you the first point. We want a first stationary point. So for this instance, I'm gonna use this upper right hand corner of this um, top plate, because that's the top plate we're referencing off of. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna take my wire and go right to the very corner of that. I'm gonna press the green button. Then I'm gonna go to the end or last point of the last part or the same point on the last part. Find that location, green button again. It will then ask you how many parts are in this pattern. For us, it's going to be three. Backspace three, confirm. At that point, I can move my torch out of the way. From there, I wanna make sure that my uh, weld number is correct, so I can go to my start weld, go to edit weld, make sure I'm set up for this is number four. We are doing number 316, so we will be using number four, but we have different material thicknesses, four different uh, settings on the welder, so we just wanna weld by numbers. We're doing number four for 316. We'll go ahead and press okay. From there, we're gonna press done. It will write the code. We'll do all three welds at the same time. As you can see, creating a pattern or multiple welds with multiple parts very easily. This makes your output a lot higher depending on the size of your machine and how many parts you're trying to put out. And you'll also notice that when we did that, we did not have to program any air motions and it traced all of those positions when we were moving the torch. For more information, go to LincolnElectric.com.